morning there, Cyber Friend. It's the Midi Man coming back at you from Walker's Mute with yet another word for the day. Yes, friends, it's Sunday morning. It's time to go out and try to do and use the gift that God has bestowed upon you. I uh, want to say to all ministers of music that has to go out this morning that to God, God speed and uh, we, we, we asking God to continually bless you and keep you and keep you safe and strengthen you as you go along the way. I realize that as we work with the different choirs and groups and whatnot and doing ministry, it depletes you of energy, physical strength, and we want to pray. We want to pray right now for all ministers of music. Uh, Brother JT, uh, Brother Justice, Orange Flavor, we call it, Brother AG Praise, and all ministers of music that's out there that must go out in this morning and do what we do. And need mind is not for shape, form, or fashion. And I hope that we never do anything for vain glory. Uh, but let us do all for the glory of God. And this morning, I just feel moved. Just to say a little prayer and for strength that all of us that God we pray, I pray God for our strength that we can continue to do and be bold soldiers in the army of the Lord. And we just want to pray. Father God, I just say I come to you this morning, Lord, with the humblest way I know how. Praying, Father, for these ministers of music that must go out and do what they are and have them to do on this day. Father, we don't ask for we don't ask for grace for tomorrow but we ask grace we ask for grace for this day one day at a time Lord we just ask that you will go with them and keep them and touch them and build them up and strengthen them to do what you, the gift that you have given them to do Father God I ask for strength on my own self that I might be able to continue to do what thy will be done Lord God we don't do things in shape form and fashion and let us never be for vain glory Father God I ask all these blessings in Jesus name Amen Okay, people, there we go. Little prayer, little power. Much prayer, much power. And I want to read scripture today. For some reason, I just felt led to go here again. Like I said, we need, we need to keep doing things until we get it right, people. And I want to read from St. John, 15th chapter. Started at the first verse. I'm quite sure a lot of people are familiar with this. He said, I am the true vine, and my father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now you are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye, except you abide in me. I am the vine. You are the branches. He that abided in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. Let's stop there. May God add a blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers of the Holy Word. People we see here in this series, Jesus' famous word about him being the vine, and we are the branches. People picture for yourself in the natural a tree the vine being the trunk and then the branches the limbs of the tree that connect to the trunk now I know that we all have seen limbs on trees that had died in other words, either by the wind, where the wind, the weather had broken on the limb off the tree and it's just hanging on, and it's dead. And then you, whoever owned the tree, have to come and purge. They cut that dead limb off of that tree because if it don't, it'll kill the whole tree. And a dead limb bear no fruit, you know, whatever kind of tree it is. If it's a pecan tree, that dead limb will bear no pecan, even though it's on the tree. This is what Jesus was telling us, and I'm going to move on because time is really far spent. This is what Jesus is telling us, people, that unless we abide in him, we can't bear no fruit. Oh, no, sir. No matter how we, hard we try, all things that we do is futile. 
if we are not doing it in him. He said, for without me, in that fifth verse, you can do nothing. So, this is, this is what makes me, many man, stay humble. Because I know that nothing that I do today, when I go out of here in, in a few more minutes, and I go to that keyboard, nothing that I'm doing, I could do it without him. Oh no, we may think that it's up, but it's not. We can do nothing without him. And he tells us in the scripture that God, his father, is the husband. In other words, he that bear no fruit, who could have said? He said, every branch of me that bear not fruit, he take it away. So you see, if you are not bearing fruit, it's a dangerous thing because you'll be purged or cut from the vine. And that's what we don't want. We don't ever want to be separated from Jesus. Because it's just like this keyboard that's sitting in front of me. If I take out the power source, if I unplug it, it's nothing. No sound is going to come out. It's good for nothing unless it's plugged up. So unless we are plugged into Jesus and we abide in him, and then even when we bear fruit, God purges it. In other words, he nudges and keeps keep keep bending you. It's uncomfortable though, but yeah, but he want to get more fruit out you. So those are, I think, the little testing and trial that we go through. And the Lord allowed these things and he purges in us to bring forth even more fruit. Because it's very, very hard people to deal with certain people. But if you learn to go on through the test, because God, Jesus is our captain. He's with us. We learn to go on through regardless. Sometimes we get tired. I know I do. Get, you get tired. You want to give up and quit. But we keep going. I love Donnie McClurkin's song, We Fall Down, but we get up. We, 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 like, we must be, as Paul said, we must die to ourselves daily. Because old flesh don't want to give in. It wants to have its own way. So as long as we abide in Christ and we bear fruit, people, we have no danger. We have no danger. And as I told you on the last video, find somebody that you can help. Find somebody that you can help. And help them. And that will get your mind off your own self. What you make happen for others, God will make happen for you. I got that golden key from a partner and friend of mine in the ministry, Brother Mike Murdoch. So what you make happen for others, God will make happen for you. And I'm a firm believer in that. I've seen it happen. So let us just not become weary in well-doing for the Bible tells us in due season. We should read. If we faint not. So it's no sin, people, to get tired. It's no sin to want to quit. There's no sin in that. That's the human part of it. But let's get superhuman. We, As long as we're connected to Christ, we are superhuman. That means I can do all things through Christ. That strengthens me. This many man saying peace. Have a good day.